Hi, thank you so much for joining me. I have this enormous box here titled The Burn Box because today I will be unboxing it. In my first video this month, my last video actually, I um, highlighted the videos that I had planned for this month and I featured this box in it as well letting you know that I would be unboxing it. But if you haven't seen that video yet, I will enlighten you as to what this is all about. A very good friend of mine and longtime viewer of my channel and many other channels as well within the ASMR community named Bernie, also known as Totally ASMR, uh, was inspired by videos that highlight people of one culture trying the treats of another culture. So, since he hails from Germany, and I am actually part German, um, I am going to be trying German treats for the first time. Um, I have been told that I cannot look up the German words in advance, although uh, Bernie did send me a, a very descriptive list um, that includes all of the items that are in this box. Um, and so I can't, can't, uh, find out how to pronounce these words in advance and I'm just going to be as natural as possible because this is going to be my first time seeing all of these and trying all of these so I hope that you enjoy I hope I enjoy too because because I don't know what to expect. I've gotten some hints here and there as to what um, what is in the Bernie box, but I still have yet to open it, so I'm very excited to open it. kind of like in a white, you know, the Bernie box. The Bernie box. I've got a knife. <laughs> Rather large knife. Got it for Christmas from my aunt last year. Not really sure why she thought I needed it. She knew I was moving to Ireland, so maybe she thought that there would be some dangerous Irishman. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's just a really large, ornate looking knife.
ideas for the past week. So I'm, um, I'm pretty excited. Sour gummy stuff. Here's a letter. Dear Grace, it's been a wonderful and interesting time being friends with you so far, and I highly appreciate your many creative and wonderful works a lot. So I thought it is again about time to worship you a little and say thank you so much with a new and slightly improved version of my famous Bernie box. Um, a few months ago before I left for Ireland, so I think in April or early May, I got my first Bernie box and it had uh, a few treats in it, nothing near as large as this, and I will put a link in the description box so that you can check that out if you would like. So here we are. It took some effort to squeeze most but not all what I had in mind as treats into this much too small box. Luckily, I didn't have a customs declaration this time since we're both European. Oh, that's cool. Because taking all out again to make a proper description would totally destroy this carefully built order. So after all, I will just state a few basic precaution rules and leave the rest to your highly appreciative and refreshing spirit for curiosity and adventure. The usual treatment with the peppermint tea is advised. No changes there. I see some peppermint tea right here. There are two beverages in cans in the box. Both should be chilled and both contain more or less caffeine. No worries, they are not energy drinks and the cola is made from all natural ingredients and does not contain phosphoric acid as usual cola would do. There is one glass jar in this package. Even though I densely packed it and put it in a Ziploc bag, I wouldn't recommend dumping the, con the content of the box on the floor or any hard surface unless you found the jar. Don't try to drink from the paste fix flask. Poost fix flask. Although it shouldn't be toxic, it's meant to be used for making bubbles only. Oh, oh goodness. The Holuderblüten Getränken Syrup, made from elderflowers, needs to be mixed with water at a ratio of 1 to 5, or based on your personal taste. And it's, it pretty good works with carbonated water, too. The Moncherry and the Ritter Sport rum contain alcohol. Not as much to really get drunk, but enough to be a problem for addicted people. And of course, don't try to eat all at once. In deep appreciation, Bernie, totally ASMR. I'm so overwhelmed, I don't even know what to start with. I'm gonna start with this, because these look pretty cool.
They're called Sahai, Sahai, Johannes Bielen. I'm going to try this. I've known from the list that Bernie emailed me that there was sour gummy candy inside. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Bellissimo, vida. That's the wrong country, but it's okay. It has red currant flavors in it. It's kind of intimidating um, trying food which has labeling that's not in a language you can understand well. But oh well, because this tastes really good. Okay. Mmm. I think these are the ones that this is what I'm not supposed to uh, eat ingest, consume, swallow. These are the bubbles. Blown bubbles in forever. <laughs> oh man, I just blew my nose. Okay. These are some more gummies. Cut is Viviane Maya Macha Meat Gluten Honig. Gluten Honig. Oh, yeah, I know that. There's orange. And that's, nope, that's the only one that I can, oh, banana, banana, kirsch, apfel.
I'm going to try my best to just try a little bit of each. Really good. It's so fruity. Mm. That one was the nutty. And this one is Kirsha. What the heck is that one? Mm. This one is orange. Mm, okay, these are very good, so I'm going to put them down. Okay, I think that these ones are for, like, coughing, like, for coughing medicine. It's called Haribo Donkion. Means ectem means or... Kirschgeschmack. Kirschgeschmack. Individually wrapped. It's nice. Oh. Oh, it's menthol. Oh my word. It's very um minty. Minzor. I think that means menthol. <laughs> I mean um yeah. That's what it means, definitely. Because of the menthol. It's like minty and zesty. But uh, for a for a cough drop, because I've never had a chewy cough drop before, that one, that one is not so bad. Schokobons. Das schmeckt nach Spa with that letter. I have no idea what that letter is. Do you see that letter? Right there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is it like a J? Is it a J? Choco bonds. Mm. That's very tasty. And this is the peppermint tea that Bernie got me in his first Bernie box to me. And it comes from his own garden. He has a peppermint tree. And look, he labeled it too. It's so cool. And I really like peppermint tea. So. Very tasty. 
Merci. Next we have a hold bonbons, meet Pringle, I can't read upside down in another language, meet Pringle, a hold browse hoover, with imbir, imbir, kimbir, orange, 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 I don't know how to say it. Zitrone, I'm assuming that is lemon. And Waldmeister, which I would think maybe is watermelon. Nope, I was wrong, it's Woodruff. like a hard candy. Okay. Oh, I see. Meet Pringlendom. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's sour. It's like a sour Jolly Rancher. No, it's way better than a Jolly Rancher because it's not near as hard. The Wonder Blue Tin Get trying K syrup. This is a syrup extracted from elder flowers, and to drink it, it needs to be diluted by a factor of at least one fold. Flowers unfolded syrup. That's so cool.
is Jamaica Rum. I've never tried to make a run before. It's pretty good. This has mm, waffle stuction, stuction, waff, waffle stuction, which I'm guessing is the waffle me flavor that's in there. Kind of like a Kit Kat. Rice Crisp, Rice Krispies, I don't know. And rum. And then it also has milk chocolate and raisins and hazelnuts. And lots of rum. This is called Fruity Farms. And it's mocked kinder foam, wheat, 22%, fruit soft. Does that mean fruit juice? Does that mean made with 22% of fruit juice? I don't know. Mm, which is and. Um, a walk. Sine Abenso. I'm practically bilingual now. I love all this gummy candy. It's like making my life right now. Mm, that one is very good. Mm, this one is so good. Probably because of all the fruit saft they had in it. Yeah. And one more for the road. Now, I think that these are pickles.
Schmunker and Gherkin. Schmunker and Gherkin. I'm trying to say it in my authentic uh, German accent. Sudge Wurzig. Schmunker Gherkin. I love me some Schmunker Gherkin. How did you know that, Bernie? not the, I thought they were pickles. They taste more like cucumbers. And I know that pickles are made from cucumbers, but these just taste like pickled cucumbers, whereas pickles taste like pickles. I don't know how to explain this, uh, but that is definitely interesting. Yeah. It is made with zutaten, gherkin, zucker, or maybe zutaten means ingredients. Um, zutin, gherkin, zucker, brunt weinessig, salz, zwiebel, senkurner, dill, naturliches, naturliches, Naturliches aroma. <laughs> I'm failing at this so bad. I thought I was going to be able to taste everything in one sitting, but uh, yeah, I can't. So I'm stuck. Like this is. Cocos Mango Mix. Cocos Mango Mix. The last time that Bernie got me something, uh, that Bernie sent me a Bernie box, he sent me um, sugared coconut, and I'm pretty sure that this is the same brand that made those. I think I just remember. Getrokne. I remember seeing something like that. I think there is coconut in here. Let me see. Let me just read it in this language that I don't know at all. Uh, Kokosnuss. Yep. I don't actually know if that is coconut. I'm going to say that it is. Oh, cool. This is like Kool-Aid. It's like a drink flavor. Or it's like a way to flavor your drink. It's got Zitronin, which is citrus, Waldemeister, which is Wardra, is that what it was? Browse Pulver, I don't know what I'm saying.
with has a mousse in caramel meat nougat cream and chocolate does that mean charcoal or zutaten i think zutaten means ingredients zucker lanslich fett hazelnuts nusa glucose syrup oh yeah it's like glucose syrup Nutella on the go, or as they say in Germany, Nutella, Ferrero, and go. I remember having those little packets of something just like this in in Texas, except there was cheese. I I never seen one with Nutella, and this is just so cute. I'm gonna save that for. One of my road trips. <laughs> How cute is that? So cute. <gasps> Mon chéri. Oh, that looks delicious. I, I would think that maybe they're chocolate, either covered cherries or cherry flavored chocolate. having to speed up a little bit because my camera is almost dead so I'm trying to, <laughs> to go fast. Oh, that's the marzipan. Butterstone. Marzipan Butterstone. Made by Favorina. Confiserie. Confectionery. <gasps> Look at these biscuits. Oh, man. Oh, we love having these kind of biscuits for tea. So those are perfect. Nuts, brown jelly truffle. What is that? Oh my gosh. And to think I actually thought that I was going to finish all of this in one sitting. Or at least try all of it in one sitting. This is crazy. So I'm going to remove the crackers.
it's already kind of chilled. Usually cola is so sweet, but this is not too sweet at all. It is perfect. It's an orange lemonade mix. Snack hits. I don't know what that word is. I grow, grogste, via fault, beliebte, marking. I don't know, okay, that's good. Dill marzipan bomb stem. Oh, yeah, bomb stem. I know it well. Milk, milk chocolate, uh, which is milk chocolate. <sighs> De fruit meat, 42%. Edel nougat and 20% Edel Marzipan. I wonder what Edel means. drink that one too but I might have to wait till later. So it's natural cola and it says on the back Red Bull Cola aims to Liorendes Liorendes Erfrenschungs getrunk mit Inhalstoffen. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I definitely know now that Zutaten, if I'm even saying that correctly, is ingredients. I know that almost for a and Wasser is water. I'm gonna go places because I'm pretty much bilingual in German. Thanks so much, Bernie. So since I'm not going to be able to try all of these today, uh, unless I get a sick tummy and not be able to make a video ever again, um, I was thinking that maybe you could tell me in the comments what you think I should try for my next uh, ramble or video or what I should just feature in a video, whether it be the Red Bull or gummy candy or the, the nougats. Um, okay. 
Anyway, I just thought that maybe that would be a good idea. I can't eat all the rest today. Let's see, these are more unendlich Salzschmelzend Milch. <laughs> and this is Weihnachts Chocolate. Yeah. That looks so good. I'm going to gain so much weight now. Uh, because I've done such a good job of not buying any gummy candy or chocolate or soda. Nothing but good, healthy stuff in the house. And now I am going to gain 14,000 stone by the time... January 1st rolls around. Thanks to you, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this looks so good. This is Fina Domino Stone. It looks like they're dark chocolate squares. Sassy di Domino. Wait a minute. That's Norwegian. That's Latin. The heck is that language? Oh, wait. That's, that's Italian. Oh, okay. Here's German. Domino Stein doppelt gefühlt. And Val Bitter Chocolate. I'm gonna guess that that means Domino Dice is double filled in plain chocolate and not because the back also includes English. Varied flavors. I can't believe how much stuff is in this box. It's amazing. It's so cool. in Dachin Werder Anno 1909. Dort schuf der Zuckerbacher Gustav Nebel auf der Hohseins Konen sein bestes Bonbon. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what any of that means. Like wafers, waffle, meat, 
has some nice cream feelings. Sounds like um, wafer with hazelnut cream feeling. So that means, uh, I guess, uh, let's see, it reads Waffen Meat Zitronen Cream Feeling. So I believe that's citrus slash lemon feeling. I think it means lemon feeling. Which sounds yummy. And the very last item in the box is Ballisto. And that is corn cereal. It says it right there. Now, I still don't know what that means, really. But it sure does look good. That is what counts as we all know. I just want to thank Bernie once again for this amazing, amazing package. Um, my table is a hot mess right now. It looks like Christmas morning after all the presents have been opened. <laughs> um, so this has just been such a treat. Literally. Ah. Bernie, danke schön. Oh, I've been wanting to say that like for the past week. Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Um, have a wonderful, restful, peaceful day or night. And I hope that you'll join me again sometime soon. Gute Nacht!